All right, so we have, I believe, gotten all the Pokemon in this area here that were available, or at least they're showing up for us now. So let's head back, and what I, like I said, let's see what's in this Dynamax dungeon. Anything good. What is that? Psychic type? I don't know if I have this or not. I don't know what it is. It claims it's Frost type? I mean, I guess we can give it a shot. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I have it yet or not. I guess we'll try it just for the hell of it. We'll see if I have it. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> That's the goth girl. Do I have... Oh, I have her already, right? Oh, yeah, I do. Alright, I already have that Pokemon. Then I don't need to get it. We can get out of here. Dr. Tony Huge Cheers said, Did you hear what happened to Upscaled Man? Um... Here we go. I'm gonna assume, I'm just gonna assume he got doxxed. I don't even know if that's the truth. I'm just gonna assume he got doxxed. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> that's, I'm just gonna guess. Cause it seems to me like what you're referencing is that he hasn't been around for a while and what happened to him, it's probably why he probably got doxxed, which sucks. You know, and I, keep, I tell everyone, please be careful. If you're gonna be a frequenter of my streams or anyone's streams on Twitch and you're gonna be a contributor in particular, sadly that puts a bullseye on your back for some very, very messed up up here people who just like to hound people because they don't like the streamer you're supporting. So, I don't know if he got doxxed or not. I'm just guessing. That would be my guess. <laughs> Vincenzo... Wait a minute. Vincenzo to Benzod. To me, $1.23 says, I live near the EA headquarters in Florida. I contacted the local authorities on the behalf of them robbing you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Actually, it's not. Should not do that. I know you're probably joking anyway. What is this? What the hell is that? A carbink? Oh! I've seen carbink, but I don't think I've ever seen him in 3D. So that's why it fooled me. I don't know what it was. But no, obviously you don't contact the police. Yes, did EA rob me? Technically they did. But I'm pretty sure the police are not going to be able to go after them for it. So there's no point in getting law enforcement involved. But I do thank you for the tip. <clears throat> so yeah, carbink. I've seen carbink in other Pokemon games before, but never in this one. Catch that carbink. I'm pretty sure it evolves. Very good. Freeze while has leveled up. Alright, Carbink, let's learn. So, Carbink is a jewel Pokemon, rock and fairy types. Just weird because it kind of looks like ice, but it's not. When beset by attackers, Carbink wipes them all out by firing high energy beams from the gems embedded in its body. Here you go. <clears throat> Very nice. All right, Black and Tuna Cobbler, enjoy your nice permanent ban. Here's a nice old-fashioned manual lean-in for you. There you go. Carming does not evolve. There's a variant called Diancy, which may have been cut in this game. Oh, so Carming doesn't evolve. There's no point in putting him in the party. Uh, no gender. Luster, like like you know, a gem that has a lot of luster. Um, I'll put it in place of Lance. I'll put it in place of Lance because Lance does not evolve, right? Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Dr. Tony Huge did a 100-bit cheer and says, I won't confirm or deny anything, but can you add the plug segment back to your pre-streams? doesn't have to be long-winded like it used to be. Maybe a quick minute or two. If you mean I should just w warn everyone to protect their identity, then maybe I'll do that. But, you know, I used to do that in pre-stream. Everyone complained. Everyone always complained. Why are you doing this, this long thing every day about all this? We don't care about it. And so I stopped doing it for months now. And now it seems like people want it again. <laughs> people just can't. I, I can't win. I seriously can't win, no matter what I do. Here's a Dragon's Fang. Boost the power of Dragon type and Type's moves. How nice. How nice. Do I have this guy? I want to say I do, but let's confirm. Oh, uh, Vincenzo... No, Vincenzo to Benzod. He's going to tip me another dollar. 23. He says, do I feel remorse that I get all these people doxxed? Do I feel remorse that I get people doxxed? 
How do I get people doxxed? Exactly. Oh, by the way, I don't have this. It's Bagon. How am I getting people doxxed? Malicious fuckers go behind the scenes to pull out personal information about someone who contributes on my stream. Somehow, are you saying I get people doxxed? No, 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 no. Let's not pass the blame here. It's these mentally ill motherfuckers who have absolutely no empathy and no ability to realize what they're doing is wrong to get the people doxxed. They're the ones who are doing it, right? All I can do is try to warn people, be careful, there's malicious people on the internet who will fuck with you. That's the best I can do. Why would I feel bad? I mean, it sucks that it happens, I don't want it to happen, but I'm not gonna feel like remorse, I did nothing wrong. This fuck motherfucker who's a, a sicko on the other side of the internet who thinks that's fucking funny and okay to do, that's the motherfucker who should be feeling remorse, not me. So, I don't appreciate you saying that at all, and I think that you should apologize to me immediately, and if you don't, you can go fuck yourself. <clears throat> okay, Bagon. The rock headed Pokemon. He says, a dragon type. Bagon jumps off cliffs every day, trying to grow stronger so someday he'll be able to fly. That sounds really weird. <laughs> Dr. Tony Hughes did 100 bit cheer. He says, Oh, I remember, but now it's harder to tip anonymously. I think it might be better now, maybe for a week or two. All right, fair enough. If you're here, remind me tomorrow for sure. Bonehead. Now this is obviously the lower end, po uh, lower end evolution. So let's get Bonehead in here, and I guess we'll get rid of Diva because I don't. I'm pretty sure Jinx doesn't evolve. Okay, good. All right. Continue on. What the hell? Oh. That looked like it was... I swear to God, that looked like it was encased in, a, in like, amber. The way that it was positioned there, I thought the Pokemon was in amber. <clears throat> Alright, so... This guy's a piece of shit. A human piece of shit. And I'm just gonna make sure that they can't contribute anymore, so that way I don't have to be distracted by their insanely stupid... Mouth drooling, brainless prattle on my stream. So hold on one second, everyone. There we go. Fuck off. Very nice. All right, let's continue. Oh, was that an item? Yes. Looks like we're climbing the caves here, right? Because they were carving. I can go up or down, but I think up oh, may be a dead end. No. Oh, man, this is a labyrinthian cave system here. It's a big-ass fucking maze, so let's just kind of go everywhere. Let's see. Down. What is down? Oh! Look at this. <clears throat> Going down gets me a fire blast ability. Very nice. An intense blast of all-consuming fire, and it may leave burn. Well, yeah, if your entire body's engulfed in flame, typically it may burn you. That is a correct statement. This is a dead end, so we have to go up. Okay. Another Pokeball. Here we go. Safety goggles. A normal gem. Nothing odd with that gem. It's perfectly normal. What's down here? Another Pokeball. There's a lot of hidden items in this cave. A bottle of PP up? I don't even know, need to know what in that bottle makes, makes PP go up. We'll just continue here. That's Clefairy. I definitely have Clefairy. I definitely have Snorrent. And I definitely have all the evolutions of Zubat. Where does this go? Nah. Oh! Wait, I think I have that already. In fact, I'm positive I have this. It's cool that he's dead here. So if again, if you didn't, it was one of the most rare Pokemon to get in the uh, original uh, sword, I think. Or was it shield? I forget which one it came from. But I have it. Yeah, I, I have it. Dredagon. So I can just go ahead and, and kill it quickly. But it's pretty cool looking, right? But it's cool that it's now able to be caught in the wild here. That's actually pretty nice. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
A lot of experience points. Alright. Well, I was wondering why there was a separate cave area over here. And that's why. It's probably his spawn point. Alrighty. Let's continue. I think we have to keep, let's keep going up. Yes. We're going to go further up here. Here we go. Pass all these Zubat evolutions. <laughs> Maximum revive. That's just a drop. Okay. We're leaving the cave now. Let's take a look at the map, actually. So we went through this cave, and it looks like we're going to pop up up here. I don't know what we're going to find up here. How long is the DLC? I don't know. We're not doing the story. We're just exploring. So I'm doing... Today's literally just an optional stream of me just exploring. I've done zero story development. What the hell Pokemon is that? Look at that thing. It's a moth of some sort, it looks like. It looks like a moth wearing sunglasses. Frozmoth? Do I have Frozmoth? That sounds familiar. Maybe I have a Frozmoth. Hmm. Okay. Um, Theo, Heart, and Mind, thank you for the cheer. If you want to know why people hate me, you need to ask the people. Because chances are they all have different reasons and all of them are bullshit. You know, a lot of people hate on me for things I did in the past and I'm no nothing like that anymore. A lot of people hate on me just because it became a meme on the internet to hate on me. And they literally lashed on to other people hating on me and formed a community of people who just do this reciprocally. And they think that it's some kind of a funny meme thing to do. Not realizing that not only does it hurt me, but you can actually legit hurt other people like viewers and stuff because they're being disgusting people. But I can't answer the question. You have to talk to them, not me. You know, they all probably have insanely different reasons that are all stupid. So, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <clears throat> There's a lot of frost moths here. What is that? I think I have this guy, too. Obzol? I think I have this. This sounds familiar, too. Obzol. Yeah, pretty sure. No, I don't have him. He looks familiar to me. Maybe I had him in a different Pokemon game. All right, let's catch the Obzol. Got him. Boop. Very nice. Very good. Ah, Carlton Jr. says Obzol is one of my favorite Pokemon from Pokemon Ruby. Is that where he's from? Because I played Ruby. That would make sense that I, I recognize him there. There you go. Obzol. So, the dis disaster Pokemon, Dark type, swift as the wind, Obzol races through fields and mountains. Its curved bow like horn is acutely sensitive to the warning signs of natural disasters. So, apparently, it knows when a natural disaster is coming. Um, So, we're going to call it Calamity. But we'll spell it nicely Calamity. I don't know if it evolves. I guess we can add it to the party. What does it evolve? I don't think Borealis evolves any further, right? Oh, we already know Car Carbink doesn't evolve. So let's put him in the party. What? Ooh, listen to this. Waifu Simp Granddaddy. T just cheers. I've been watching you since 2012. You helped me so much going through a gender identity crisis. I'm thankful for your content. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for the cheer. <laughs> That seems like a totally serious cheer, totally serious name. Very serious stuff. I hear a truck backing up outside. It's very loud. That's what that beeping is if you hear it. I hear it. Okay. Um. What's crazy is we're really high up and you can see down there. You can actually see the, the Dynamax battles down there. Okay. Polish Frog, I've always preferred classic Pokemon designs to the modern. He says, what do you think about modern versus classic Pokemon designs? The modern, the modern ones are just so odd. They seem out of place. They don't seem to, to, to even, you know, match up with, you know, previous Pokemon gens. It looks like it's a different series, right? Holy shit, look at this. A giant frozen tree in the Crown Shrine, this is called. Interesting. Not the camera angle. What the hell? So 
Something's watching me. Oh? <laughs> you felt that something was watching you until just a moment ago. I just said that. Interesting. Maybe maybe a special Pokemon. Okay, I see a Pokeball. Oh wait, is it Den? Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta go back online. I was just gonna say, why don't I see anyone around? Because I went on break, and when you go on break and you're not playing the game, the game disconnects you from the internet. So let's reconnect. There we go. I say, where is everyone? Why does this look so empty? Okay. Oh, the Pokeball over there. Hold on, let me grab it. All these abilities I got, and I've used like 1% of them, seriously. I like never really put them on a Pokemon. Psychic! <clears throat> Strong kin uh, kinetic force, telekinetic force, and lower special defense. Here's some people standing around. It reminds me of Dark Souls. Dark Souls 3. You go know, inside the cathedral, the, the, the living tree, right? That's what it reminds me of. Anything over here? Look around for items. Aha! A king's rock! Amazing. Whoa, it looks like there's gonna be a Pokemon battle here, right? Like, this is, this, maybe this used to be a gym or something. I kinda get that feeling. With the floor looking like that. Whoa, look at this. Seems to be some sort of a basket. So maybe I need to put something in the basket. It'll lure a Pokemon up here? Probably. And then there's going to be a Pokemon fight. Alright, well, there's nothing else here for now, right? Um. So we got all the way up here. I guess what we got to go do is go back down. And then try to head as far south as possible. And then see if we can find the cave to go to the east. Can I fast travel? No. You can't fast travel here. Well, shit. Nope. We haven't unlocked the ability to fast travel, so I gotta manually go back. Alright. Let's get on the bike. <laughs> no, I have not seen Ready Player One. Not seen the movie. Jerks versus Steven Spielberg butchered the book. Oh, yeah? What a great guy. <laughs> I never read the book either, so... Oh! Camp just showed up out of nowhere. It scared me. Doobie doobie the snom. Doobie doobie doobie. All the way back down. You can fast travel to the wing locations. Right, and there were none. There's no wing locations, so. Oh, shit. Thank God we got the bite. Oh, shit. Whoa. Whoa, almost killed myself. There we go. Look at that. Look at that crazy shit down there. I, that's where I want to go. That's like a, a freaking tree. Looks like it's full of fruit. Looks good. Alright. Waifu, simp, granddaddy cheered and said, Oh, did you really pull a five-star in Genshin for free? I thought 200 bucks is still no luck. Yes. It's on video. It's on camera. I didn't make it up. Last night, I did. I was playing Genshin and my very first multi-summon for that banner. And I ended up getting, uh, what's her name? Klee? On the very first multi-summon. So that's some crazy good luck. Alright, let's try to get him again. Okay, here we go again. In the case of Genshin, I can't imagine why anyone would spend $200 like that. At least, maybe late game you need the, the better characters, but... Early game, why would you be trying to pull a 5-star and spending money, right? Pretty crazy. Well, fuck, I'm not gonna get him here. Oh, wait. God fucking shit. The game teased me and made it look like I might get him. Just to fuck me over and make me feel like shit. God damn it. God damn it, man. That was a critical hit. Uh. Dun, 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 dun. 
I'm going to try throwing 400 Pokeballs at this asshole. Let's see if we can get him. Alright, here we go. Boy, am I glad I bought a ton of balls. One shake. A one shake tape. Son of a bitch. Come on. Oh, hygienic streamer tips tip me a dollar. I hope you have an amazing day. Maybe someday so you'll reconsider unbanning you. I never. Oh shit! No! Come on! Are you fucking kidding? That. Oh. That one fucking hurt. That seriously hurt. Oh, man. Anyway, Hygienic Fewer Tips, thanks for the dollar tip. As I've said a million times to you, uh, I always would consider unbanning you. All you have to do is admit what you did wrong, admit that you did it, all right, and then apologize for it, which you haven't done. Still to this day, it's been how many weeks? You still haven't done that. You still have not fessed up to what you did. You act like you don't know. You know exactly what you fucking did, and you still will not admit you did something wrong and apologize for it. So that means you have no remorse, therefore there's nothing to stop you from doing it again, and you will not come back. It's that simple. <clears throat> God damn it. Someone said that this game is inspired by illegal dog fights. I mean, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like, you know, having a trained animal and you're fighting, they're fighting. I, I kind of have to a little, little bit agree there. <laughs> Get this fucking thing. I can't kill this fucking thing. Now it's dead. Fuck! <sighs> Why was Sim Granddaddy? Thank you for the cheer. I think Shrewd Chips got banned because he insulted my family. That's simple. He said something absolutely fucking disgusting. And anyone, every, by the way, people who saw it at the time. Oh, by the way, I guess I don't have to catch Metang, because look, Idol's going to evolve into Metang right now, isn't he? I think so. Nice, now I don't have to catch it. Now I just evolved this into the final form. Cool. And stop trying to catch the stupid thing. So, Iron Claw, Pokemon, Steel, and Psychic, two bel Beldum, become stuck together via their own magnetic forces, with two brains, the resulting Metang has doubled its psychic powers. I didn't even know that. But that's what it was supposed to be. So now it learns all these abilities. Nice. By the way, this per this Pokemon was outstanding. What was it, Ruby? It was one of my favorite Pokemon. One of my best Pokemon in my party at the time. So I'm very happy to have it. <clears throat> anyway, what I was going to say was... um. You know, hygienic tumor strips has a plate of. Oh, I didn't. I didn't say it that way. I didn't mean it. Yes, he did. In fact, other people already said. We're like, oh my god. Like, why the fuck would you say that? What would you think was gonna happen? You know. 
It was Moon. I used Batang in Pokemon Moon. Great Pokemon. Really, really good Pokemon, so I'm pleased. Now, where am I? Okay. Theo, Heart, and Mind Cheer said, Not gonna lie, Hygienic Streamer Tips, who used to be a mature adult with biz degree, was a borderline troll and detractor that kept pushing your buttons until it got too out of hand. You're absolutely correct. 100% correct. You hit it on the head. Thank you very much, Theo, Heart, and Mind. Appreciate that. Okay. Going back down. This is where we had come through. Yep. And this is why it's cool to have the bike, honestly. Turbo through the areas you've already been through. Now. Alright, I'm still not at the point where there's going to be the cave that I, that I missed. No, okay. Should I fish? Ah, oh, shit. It went, oh, shit, I went in the water. I don't know, maybe I'll have to fish to catch a few rare Pokemon, but for now I think I'll just head down here. So here it is, and now if I head to the left, maybe that should lead me to this cave. That will lead me to the coastline, I believe. <clears throat> Slurp my kitty one, two, three. I do answer messages. Um, it just depends on the message and if it's something that feels pertinent to my stream. So far, I haven't really seen much that you've said that had anything to do with this. That's something that I would respond to. So where am I? Let's see. Timbo... Oh, shit. I, oh, I have to go around. I see there's a ramp. I have to go around. Timbo Slice Tree said, We got a stupid alert in my area. First dumb high COVID update. Now people waiting in line for five hours to eat our very first Popeyes that opened today. Wow. That happened in Connecticut. When, when Popeyes first opened in Connecticut, I talked about this. We had never had a Popeyes before. And so one of them opened. And you're right. People were waiting in lines down the block to get Popeyes chicken. Now, I'm not saying that Popeye's chicken isn't good. It fucking is great. In my opinion, it's way better than, like, KFC and shit. But is it worth a five-hour fucking wait? Hell no. That's just as crazy as the people who are waiting crazy in line to get, um... the hell's that? People that were waiting crazy in line to get the, uh, the, the chicken sandwich. Which is good. The Popeye's chicken sandwich is good, but it ain't worth a five-hour fucking wait. Okay. Uh, why would Sim Granddaddy? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. At all. So I'm just gonna ignore you now. Expand Dunks said, imagine if the, if the chicken sandwich craziness had happened during the actual pandemic. Yeah, they wouldn't have had that shit. They definitely would have gotten trouble for it. Seriously. Then again, if you're waiting in your car, which is all it really is, you're waiting in the drive-thru, right? So. I've never made my own regular fried chicken in like a fryer. We've tried the air fryer to make fried chicken, and it wasn't great. Like, it was okay. We made this, like, popcorn chicken, and it tasted pretty good, but it didn't, I don't know. It just didn't, it wasn't like, it didn't feel like real fried chicken. Like, it didn't seem as good as real fried chicken. I have hatch room already, so we'll just beat the shit out of this thing. Yeah, it did, definitely didn't seem, seem as good. Madara's God says he got his money back from EA. How'd you do that? Did you just dispute it with your credit card company or whatever? See, I can't do that because it was fucking, it went from PayPal for me. So it completely fucks me over because it went through PayPal, so I don't think I can get my money back. So far, the best thing we've made in our air fryer is, is french fries. Um, our french fries are really good in the air fryer. They come out really crisp, but full of flavor, and not, like, soggy or greasy or anything like that, which is good. So that's a good thing. Yeah, Madara's God said he called his bank. See, can't do that. Call PayPal, they're gonna be like tough shit. Seriously, they don't care because they're not. PayPal is not like a bank, so they're not gonna care. Oh, I already got a mind you. All right, welcome to Granddad. You are now banned. Congratulations, you earned yourself a ban. You're a piece of fucking shit. You can go fuck yourself off of my streams. Now it's time to get on my Junior. Actually, kill my Junior. There you go. More on. Idiot. Whenever I ban someone, I'll do some show tunes for it. What is that? Alright, that's the haunted cup, isn't it? I have it. 
I have the haunted teacup. Let's make sure that's what it is. Sinisty, I'm pretty sure I have this this thing. Yep, already got Sinisty. Crunch is super fatigue is everything right now. It's a dark move. That's a Nidoran, right? Don't need that. Where am I? I'm a little confused. I got turned around here. And it's very, like, like very foggy, so I can't tell where I'm walking. Yeah, see, I don't know which way to go. There's, like, two ways to go here. That's the chandelier, chandelure or whatever, but that's the lower version of it. What's that? Oh, no, I got all these. I have all these Pokemon already. Yep. Okay. Thimble Slices, what would I do if I was walking down the street and I saw legit Pokemon? I would run and scream. Scream at the top of my lungs like, like in the horror movies. Because I've realized that I'm insane. That's not a very good realization to have, to know that you're nuts. Anyway, let's continue. Dr. Tony Hughes, you said you still have the bubbles. Been a while since I've seen you blow some. I'm not sure if they're celebratory things. Right here. The truth is I was blowing the bubbles a lot during the summer when, when I turned off my air conditioner and I started using the fan. The fan blows on me now and basically the bubbles will go right in my face. So I stopped doing them so much. And um, I just kind of forgot about them a little bit and didn't really think about them that much. Usually what I would do is if I won, like, a game of Fall Guys or something, I would blow the bubbles. You know, as, like, a celebratory thing. Um, today I don't have the fan on at all. It's actually so cool outside that all I need to do is have my window a little bit of a crack open. And it's actually very cool in the office here today. My feet are actually cold. I might have to wear some socks or something later. I might. So, now I could blow the bubbles and I wouldn't blow back in my face. But, I mean, what would we be celebrating if I blew the bubbles? I don't know. There's two ways to go here, and it's so foggy, I can't fucking see. I guess they kind of... Oh, the two ways connected. Never mind. A spring of relaxed mint. What the hell? Mark McCauley, as you well know, because I've talked about it before, I do not smoke marijuana. I do not do any drugs whatsoever. So this is... Dude, I'm so confused. Oh, whoa. What is this? I found a big-ass building. So this looks very similar to the other place that we saw in the in the ice, the temple, right? It's very similar, only it's out here in the fog in the forest. And it doesn't open. So this has got to be for the story, then. Okay. Okay. Dr. Tony Hughes, cheers. I know your office is really hot during the summer. Does it also have the reverse happen in the winter? Like, get really cold. No, it does get cold, but not... It doesn't get really cold. Reason being, it's a small room with a ton of electronics in it. So those electronics naturally raise the, the native temperature of the room. And therefore, it never really gets cold because there's always electronics keeping it warm. Oh, look where we are. We're looping back to the beginning now. See that? We're looping back to that original village. So what I should do is turn around and go the other way. Because that's the way I didn't go yet. Yeah, I already got all these Pokemon, see? That's going to bring me back to the start. So let's go the other direction. And we now know where this temple is. For future reference. Let's go this way. Oh, nah, it doesn't look very rare or anything, so. <clears throat> okay. Oh, shit! He ran right into me. Hello, Derek. How's it going, dude? Because he just got home from work. Well, Derek, truth is, we didn't miss much. We caught Pokemon all day. This DLC is, is a very big map, just like the last one. And all we've done is wander the map and caught a ton of new Pokemon. 
So that's good. You know, it's really cool. We've seen a lot of new Pokemon in the game today. But at the same time, we haven't really made any progress whatsoever. I haven't even advanced the story at all. It's just been a 100% chill Pokemon catching stream. So, you do not miss much. That is correct, Mark McCauley. CVS1 is a terrible game. It's seriously terrible. It's a jab fest. The whole game is jabs and comboing jabs. Uh, uh, excuse me. Derek says that raid battle was an Audino. So there you go. We already caught an Audino today. So I definitely don't need to do that raid battle. I want to... I don't know where this goes. Because I want to head towards that tree. But where is this? This is the back way? This is... Okay, this is the back way to the village. Got it. Yeah, we want to head towards the tree down near the, the coastline. Dr. Tony Huge Chase said, good shit. Remember back in the day using my old Xbox 360 as a space heater? Yeah, dude, this, this office heats up significantly. When I just close the door, the temperature goes up. Like I said, traditionally, on any day, the, the, the temperature in here is about 10, 15 degrees warmer than the rest of my house. Because of the insane amount of electronics running in here. <clears throat> careful mint. Be careful of that mint. It really fucking grinds my gears that there's five million of these Stonehenge Pokemon just wandering around here when it took me so effing long to catch it in the original Pokemon Sword and fill up the Pokedex. It's really annoying that it's just so common now. <clears throat> this causes great anger within my body. So, I'm trying to get over to that either south or to the cave that goes to the coastline to the east. I haven't found it either one yet. Maybe it's across the way here or something? I don't know. Maybe I have to cross the water. Let's take a quick look. There's a Sylvian. Now, see, this is where I came from. So I do have to go down. I have to go this way. No, I've not thought about playing Among Us. Not my kind of game. Don't really feel like grabbing, grabbing a group of people to do it, honestly. I don't really think I would enjoy it that much either. Probably just people in insulting me and trolling me constantly instead of allowing me to enjoy it, so... Five star. Ground and psychic? I don't know what this is. Wait a minute. Isn't this the thing that has the weird head that looks like it's made of adobe? I think it is. It's a five star fight, but I don't think I need to do it. I could be wrong. Cladal? It's a cladal. Okay, I don't need it. I already have it. Okay. So, FYI, guys, I'm playing for about another half an hour. Just so you know, great stream so far today. Thank you for the for the support and chilling with me. Current top cheerer is still Lice for Soul. The current top tipper is still No Couture with a $25 tip. So No Couture right now will be able to name a Pokemon if they remain the top uh, tipper for the stream. However, there's still 30 minutes to beat them, and we are at $73 in tips. There's the Claydol, by the way. We're at 73 bucks in tips. So if you guys wanted to, number one, try to beat them and name a Pokemon, you still can. And number two... I have that thing. Number two, if you wanted to uh, help me hit the tips goal, I would really appreciate that. You know, I need the help right now. I'm going to be buying some, like, 10 to 12 games plus a console plus accessories in the next uh, month. And so any support is appreciated, but right now tips would really help, and hitting the tips goal would be pretty nice if we could. What the fuck is that? Phoebus? Oh, I think I already have a Phoebus. I'm pretty sure I already have a Phoebus. I have the elephant already. I already got it. Yup, I got a Phoebus. I didn't know what it looked like in the water, but I already have it. Okay. Boom! Oh, man. Oh, man. What are some of the Pokemon we caught today? I can show you what we have in, uh, in my party. Derek, let's see. 
The Borealis, that's what I named it. It's the evolution of a smaller dinosaur Pokemon. We caught both versions. Calamity, which is a uh, snow dark type Pokemon. We caught a Beldum, which then evolved into Idol, which is the, um, I forget what it's called. It starts with an M. This is a cool one. A living snowflake. We also caught Bonehead, which is the lower evolution of a Pokemon that I played in a previous Pokemon game. Jeez, we caught so many. <clears throat> we caught this one that's made of all metal, and I can't remember its name. I called it Lance. We caught a good, at least a good 20 Pokemon today, I would think. Okay? But we did a, we did a lot of stuff. Definitely, uh, when you get a chance, watch back the vids. And, of course, these Pokemon will be in the game. And I'll be using them, so. <clears throat> 200 watts. Let's see here. Bagon will evolve twice to show you. Cool. Dude, these fucking Copperages are in my way. They're giant. Giant Copperages. You gotta fight it. You need to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Metacross? Yeah, that's what it's called. Metacross. Me Tang of all the Metagross. Oh, cool. Metagross. Boom. Damn it, he's gonna run out of crunch. What can I do, right? Nothing else hurts this thing. Dr. Tony Hoots shoot again. He says, sorry if I'm sharing too much for a daytime stream. I bought a shitload of bits today when I got home to prepare for today and the rest of the weekend. Cool. But dude, why am I going to complain if you're cheering? If you... When you're cheering, you're actually starting discussion, which is fun. I have no problem with that at all, man. Especially this. Pokemon streams? Are you kidding me? Pokemon streams are all about having fun discussion. The target's attack with a powerful beam but cannot move on the next turn. Uh, Sounds pretty shitty. Hail is terrible. I'm gonna get rid of Hail. Hail is, is is garbage. Okay. All right. Shelgon and Salamence. That's right, Salamence. Remember Salamence? That was from a previous Pokemon game I played. It's gonna be cool to see see him evolve in this one. So here we go. We're going to the sea. This is what you needed to do to get to the water. What is this? Oh, um, oh wait, Omanite. I don't think I call Omanite in this game, did I? I don't think I have an Omanite. I think it's time to catch an Omanite. I believe this thing evolves too. <clears throat> I don't have it. Let's catch this Omanite. Cool. Looks familiar, but it's a previous gen. I, I recognize it. Catch that Omanite. What? That sucked. His defense fell, but attack has risen sharply. Dead. Okay. Whoa, look at this! A fucking tidal wave! Dude, it did insane damage! Did you see that shit? Critical hit, it did crazy damage, dude. It did insane damage. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck, that hurt. He might actually kill me, huh? He might actually kill me. Ow. Surf. He's doing it again. He's going to kill me. All right, at least I didn't die. Let's try to catch it now. Okay. Can I catch it? We got it. We caught Omanite. Good shit. Good shit. Sorry, I'm trying to confirm if a contribution is real or not. It's taken taking a while, so I apologize. Um, here we go. Freezewell and Bonehead just leveled up. Maybe Bagon will now uh, evolve. We're about to find out. Let's find out, shall we? Okay. Bonehead is evolving. There you go. All right.
right, Bone evolved to do Shellgon, which is cool because it looks like it's basically like a turtle, right? Pretty cool. If I remember correctly, the reason that this is so cool is because this is a unique Pokemon that evolves to completely different forms every time, right? Yes. So cool, that's awesome. All right, Dragon Tite, Endurance Pokemon. The Pokemon is covered with body in a hard shell, has the same composition of bone. Shellgon restores energy for evolution. Cool. Shubin of you choose, I check my PC, and my graphics card is called EVGA KO Gaming. There you go. Does it review games? Does it make does it make popular game reviews? Anyway, it wants to learn protect. <clears throat> I don't know what his current moves are. Focus energy. Flamethrower. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna get rid of focus energy. Actually. Let's get rid of double edge. I don't want I don't like attacks that actually hurt yourself, right? I don't like that. What who are my carrots here? said? I remember you hearing you said went to Golfland USA Sunnyvale. Would you ever go go back for a visit once finances get better? I don't think they exist. I thought they went out of business, didn't they? I thought they went out of business a long time ago. But why on earth would I go there? It's just this little rinky dink like mini golf place and an arcade built in. It's nothing special. It's just that the best competition in the country used to go there. Not anymore. Arcades are dead. So I wouldn't get any competition going there now. <laughs> um, Alright, so Omanyte is the spiral Pokemon, rock and water type. Because some Omanyte ma managed to escape after being restored or released into the wild by people, this piece is becoming a problem. Uh-oh. Uh, we'd like to give Omanyte a nickname. What should I call this guy? Shelly. <laughs> Shelly. Alright, put it in the party. That's a Gen 1 Pokemon, isn't it? Omanyte? I think it's a Gen 1 Pokemon. I don't think Freeze well. Well, actually, I know Borealis isn't gonna isn't gonna evolve again, so let's let's swap out Borealis. Yes, today, Derek, we call Nidorin, Nidorino, Nidoqueen, Nidoking. We caught them all. We caught every single one of them. Okay. There you go. Alright. We got every evolution of, of Nidoran. Every one. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh shit. I wanted to go around and get the, the, the Pokeball and I missed. Omastar is the evolved from Omanite. Okay, we'll try to get it to the Omastar. Very good. Shitty poles are running rampant. I haven't seen a pole. I can't see it. Well, this sucks. I can't kill it. I actually can't kill the Mime Jr. I forgot to kill my guy. Okay. I guess I'm just going to keep him out from now on. Sucks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. Secret pole. Secret pole. Oh my god. Whoa, what happened? I turned, I turned back, and I'm almost dead. What the fuck? Now this doesn't fail. What is happening? What the fuck happened? <laughs> what is going on? Alright, now I should be okay, I think. I hope. <laughs> Good sucker punch. What a pain in the ass for Mime Jr. Kick my ass. I seriously did. Mime Jr. fucked me up.
That's not cool. Mime Jr. should not be fucking me up like that. I'm almost out of potions, so... After a little bit more world exploration, we're probably just gonna have to go back to the entrance and actually advance the plot, since I have no fucking potions to do anything with. <clears throat> okay. Dark Falls! There we go. The farm. Dilapidated farm. Okay. Oh, here's another one of those pedestals. <clears throat> what does this say? May 7th, once the lusciously green lands of ours lay barren, our grass wilted, our crops withered, it was a tundra shrouded in frigid cold. Many days into a bleak winter, a Pokemon appeared on the tundra, adorned with a regal crown, yet wounded and weak. Full of pity, our people brought the Pokemon to our village and saw to its care. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, what is that? Whoa, look at that thing. Some wacky bird. Arkin. I don't think I've ever seen this. See you later, Spartan King. See you tonight for Street Fighter, man. Last 15 minutes, everybody. Last 15 minutes for anyone who wants to contribute. Try to become the top tipper of the day and name a Pokemon. It's your last chance, okay? Get that tips going in the last 15 minutes. You can do it. Nice. Arkin will evolve. I'm gonna put Arkin in the party then. I get the feeling Freezewell is not going to evolve, and I should probably get rid of Freezewell. Alright, Arkin. The first bird Pokemon. This Pokemon was successfully restored from a fossil. As research suggested, Arkin is unable to fly, but it's very good at jumping. Rock and flying type. Why is it flying type if I can't fly? <laughs> Um, oh, what to name this thing? An ancient bird? I have no idea why. Nyx, like short for phoenix? I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> Alright, so then we'll get rid of Freeze Well. Okay. Okay, we're heading this way, I think. Or, we came from the cave, correct? Or am I wrong? I don't remember where we came from. Holy shit, there's a lot of Pokemon. <laughs> Stonejourner. It's the pain in the butt Pokemon that I couldn't catch in the original sword game. It took so long to get it. Okay. All I can do is outrage. <clears throat> nice insta kill. Calamity has leveled up. Cool. Nope, no evolution. Whoa. Another giant copper eye. Okay, where am I now? I think I'm in a totally new area. Let's see. It says I'm still in the same area, which is ridiculous. I'm obviously not. <laughs> what the hell? What's my favorite president? I don't have a favorite president. What's my favorite Pokemon? Squirtle. Squirtle. Shit. We're going right into this Audino. It popped up right in front of me. Okay. That's to end it quickly. Outrage. It didn't die. Last resort failed. You can only use last resort to use all your other abilities, right? What's my favorite drink? Um, chocolate milk. <laughs> I don't know. Idol leveled up. 
Oh, Idol's evolving again. I believe this is going to be the final, the final stage now. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Metagross. So, Metagross, Iron Leg Pokemon, Steel and Psychic Type, weighs over 1,200 pounds. Because the magnetic powers of the Pokemon get stronger in freezing temperatures, Metagross living on snowy mountains are full of energy. There you go. Must learn, ha oh, learn Hammer Arm. Very nice. Slam! Alright, guys, with only a, only a few minutes left, about 10 minutes left on the stream, it does look like... Um, it does look like uh, No Couture is going to be our top tipper of the day, and therefore is going to be able to name a Pokemon. We earned that right. So let's say congrats to No Couture. Let's give us a Oi! Look what I found. Another temple. That's three different temples that all look exactly the same in three different regions of the map, right? Cool. Yeah, Shogun, it's actually very good to see you here today. I, I, you know, I don't get to see you too often. It's cool that you uh, you came to hang out for a little bit with us. Thanks for stopping by. Um, Teo, or Theo, heart and mind cheers to Johnny Walker, red or black. I've never had Johnny Walker. I've never had Johnny Walker. I know it's whiskey. I've never had it. So I, don't, I couldn't comment. I never tried them. Um, yes, so about 10 minutes left, guys. I would say no couture. I don't know if you're around or not. Or you might want to think about a Pokemon to name. If you're not, well, think about it for next time. We got over here. Cool. We follow the river, right? Follow the river to a new area. Look at this. Pokeball. What's my least favorite Pokemon? Uh, I don't know. What's a really terrible Pokemon? I don't know. I don't think about it that much. We already got a Barboach. I know we have a Barboach. Dratini? I don't remember if I had a Dratini or not. I mean, uh, from Sword. I can't remember. I 100% I the Pokedex traded me all the stuff that wasn't in Sword, so I don't know if it's in Sword or Shield. Okay. Alright, so we can go up here. This is a new area. Yeah, we made it. Oh shit, this is how you get to the south area. But oh, what's this? Whoa, Melodic. I already got a Melodic. That thing's huge. All right, Balamir Lake. And we have a new Pokemon. I already got that dog, though. That's the, the, the lightning dog or whatever. I already have it. Whoa, he's chasing me at full speed. Holy shit. Here's the giant raven Pokemon. Yep. Oh, what is that? Dude, that is a cool dinosaur. Look at this guy. A little mini T-Rex Tyrant. <laughs> Tyrant. Oh, man, I gotta catch this Tyrant. That tie run. Here we go. <clears throat> Very nice. <laughs> Very good. Tyrant looks cool as hell. I agree. Look at that thing. Royal Air Pokemon, Rock and Dragon type. This is an ancient Pokemon revived in modern times. It has a violent disposition. It'll tear apart anything it gets between its hefty jaws. There you go. Nubby. Nubby because of the very short let arms. Unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um... Out of all these, I think this is the final form. Even though it's a really good Pokemon, I think I want to put it in the party so that this one can evolve. So, here you go. Terry Rissa, what are my shinies? The only shiny I caught in the wild was a... Was it a Sylveon? It was an Eevee evolution. I know that much. 
I don't necessarily remember if it was a Sylveon or not, but I know it was an Eevee evolution. Um, outside of that, though, oh, look. Cavern Pokemon evidence. Here's more, look. Outside of that, I don't think I caught any more random shinies. I, some people traded me some shinies. Damn, damn it. Some people traded me some shinies, but I don't think I, um, I ever uh, caught any more. Outside of that one. It was a neon green espion. Thank you, Axis Axolotl. <laughs> All right, this is it. We're really going down to the wire, guys. Five minutes left for the stream. If you want to see if you can be the top tipper and name a Pokemon, it's up to you to beat Nokatora. All right. I guess no one's going to. Okay. I don't like those Boltons because they're they, they're fast as shit. They run right at you. I don't like that. There's a whole new area. We got a cave over here. Let's take a look here. I don't know where the cave goes. Maybe the cave will take us to like the shore. I don't know because I never figured out how to get to the shore over there. It's an area I haven't gone to yet. Do I have this thing? I don't recognize it. What is it? It is a Aeron? I don't know. Just catch it. <laughs> don't have it. Let's catch it. I don't know what it is. It's a perfect toss with a quick ball. You are screwed. Oh, that was the first evolution of Aegron, and we caught Aegron from the Dynamax dungeon earlier today, remember? Cool. All right, Aeron. Iron armor Pokemon, steel and rock. It eats iron ore and sometimes railroad tracks to build up the steel armor that protects its body. Oh, I fucked up. I'm going to send it to the box for now because my I, I think I have a party full of evolving Pokemon. I totally screwed up. I, I wanted to name it and I hit the button. Do I want to go in the cave for now and then come back out later? I guess I will. Let's go in the cave so it's in here and we'll come back out. The Lakeside Cave. <laughs> Aeron, Laeron, and then Aegron. Cool. I already have that. I already have this thing. It's the lower level of the coal, dude. Yeah, I have it. What? I didn't touch it. I did not hit this car hole. That's bullshit. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> okay. All right. Finish him up. Last couple minutes of the stream, everybody. So we have some Pokemon today. Again, no story advancement at all, but it was fun just to uh, ex you know, explore the island and catch, catch so many wild Pokemon. We'll see if any of these will evolve. Pretty cool. I like doing this. Just having a chill stream of Pokemon catching. Oh, here we go. Very nice. Shelly's evolving. Oh my god, look at his face. Omastar. That's creepy. <laughs> that thing's creepy looking, dude. Alright. Alright, Timbo Slices, I'm excited. I'm ready for, for great DSP streams this weekend. Me too, sounds good. Major Riot Chase, the hipsters believe the beard oil god sleeps beneath Starbucks, feeding on un unlike sweets. And it looks like him. That's the beard oil god right there. Cthulhu, the beard oil god. Alright. Chili wants to learn crunch. Well, I know why. Look at his mouth. Hydro pump. Surf. I'll probably keep surf and get rid of hydro pump. Yeah, let's get rid of Hydro Pump. There you go. Alright, now it's a three three different major elements. So, I don't think the thing evolves again, right? I think that's the end of it. I don't think it'll evolve another time. And therefore, I should put in... Um, <clears throat> oh, 
shit, I don't know where he went. There he is. Put him in. There we go. <clears throat> Cryogonal? You forget what it's called? Oh, uh, what was his name? Freeze something? I just, I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> okay. Well, folks. No, I already got him. That's the bad evolution thing. I have it. It looks like we're going to end the stream here in this cave. Oh, wow. It's the, it's the evolution. It's the evolution of the Aeron I just put into my party. Layron. If I just catch this, this will be the last thing I did in today's stream. Okay. Here we go. Here we're going to play more of this uh, Monday. Yes, Monday. And on Monday, we'll probably just do some final exploration of the island. And then we'll actually start the story, which I didn't even do today. <laughs> cool. Whoa, Nyx is going to evolve. Cool. I don't know if this has one or two evolutions. So Nyx evolves into... Whoa, that's cool. Archeops. I like that. First bird Pokemon, Rock and Fly. He needs a running start to take off. If Archeops wants to fly, it needs to ne run nearly 25 miles per hour. Building speed over a course of about 2.5 miles. What? The Iron Armor Pokemon, Lyron. Lyron live in mountains, brimming with spring water and iron ore. So these Pokemon often came into conflict with humans in the past. <clears throat> Metallurgy. What a name. Alright, send it to the box. Now we can get rid of the Aeron too, right? Because the Aeron we've already uh, got the evolutions of now. Okay. Look at all this. Alright. I think we can save anywhere in the game, right? It allows you to save. Yeah, save the game. So let's save up. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you to everyone who hung out with me for the premiere of Crown Tundra, which literally was just exploring the Crown Tundra. We didn't do any story or anything, but it was pretty fun. We caught a ton of Pokemon today, evolved a bunch of Pokemon, got that Pokedex going. It was chill fun. Next time, I'll probably just finish up a little bit more exploration, but I'll definitely advance the plot next time around that we play this, okay? <clears throat> Sound good? Thank you to everyone who contributed, including Liza Versoul, who was the top cheerer. And yes, it is official now. No Couture was the top tipper. And No Couture now has the ability to name a Pokemon during the next stream. So No Couture, think about it. If you're here, think about what Pokemon you want to name and what you want to name it. All right. Next time around, like I said, I believe is Monday. Yes, because tomorrow... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be Monday. So I hope you guys will join me on Monday for actual plot advancement. Okay. Thank you guys very much.